Meowdy Netizens, I am Mr. Pool. Today I'll be showing you all how to join a DAISY modded server on Linux using KDE Desktop. Um, if you're watching this video, it's because you've tried and most likely failed at getting DZ GUI, DAISY CLI, and some other random launcher out there to work. No worries, with this video you'll be able to launch into a modded server with the client that comes with the game on Steam. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it. Okay, chances are you've already tried launching the launcher yourself and keeping uh, and keep getting the, a mods or broken or corrupt error message when you try joining a modded server, which is in, quite frankly incredibly frustrating. I, I feel you. First things first, delete all the mods you've previously downloaded, or if you don't know how. Uh, just go into the preferences section of the game on Steam and navigate to workshop. So that would be right click here, go to properties, uh, workshop, and then all, these are all the the mods that you have subscribed to trying to get this to work. Just go ahead and click like check all of them and then just click unsubscribe. All right, uh, that's very important. Um, please don't skip this step uh, because we're gonna have to re-download them uh, one at a time. Uh, and you'll see why it's so important that you do it one at a time here in a moment. So with that, let's keep on tracking. So you've done that. Great. Fantastic. Uh, next, we're going to open up the Dolphin web browser, uh, and we're going to navigate uh, in the browser. Uh, I'm sorry, did I say web browser? I meant just Dolphin browser. Uh, and go to the Steam folder located at, and I'll put it on the screen. Uh, and now I want to point out that this is for flat pack installed steam if you installed steam using apt i don't know that file path you're gonna have to figure it out but once you get into the actual steam folder it should be the same uh, same so you go to steam and then steam apps and then from here uh, you'll see common and workshop workshop is where the mods are going to be downloaded to and we'll have to go there momentarily um, workshop content it should be this folder here it should be the same for you as well 221100 and here are all the mods that I have for the servers um, that I play in uh, if we come back out of workshop if we go into common from steam uh, steam apps you'll see the different um, <clears throat> excuse me you'll see the different games I have and stuff like that Daisy is one of them and from here you will see a workshop folder and here are all of those the same mods but for whatever reason the launcher can't reconcile and find these right so what we're going to do is uh we're going to come to this actually you're going to actually uh i lied you're going to want to open two instances of dolphin one for this folder and another for the one that I showed you in the uh, the root workshop folder here. Okay, so we have both of these uh, folders open. Let's just minimize them and get them out of the way for now. Next, you're going to launch the game. Make sure that you run Play Day Z. All right. Once that runs. Here we go. Don't need this anymore. Close out of that. Move it over. All right. So here are where your mods are. And normally you've tried, you know, checking the ones here that you need. And then when you go to try to join, it still says that they're corrupted or whatever. This is because you need this little green uh, icon here for it to work. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to go to whatever. Um, whatever server you're trying to join, right, that has mods. And let's just say this Northman's Cut, right? I'm going to click on here. There's 15 mods. When I go to join, you're going to get this usual pop-up, right? So what you want to do is be able to load the, uh, the local mod from library. And so it's going to say, OK, well, I need advanced weapon scopes. Let me load the mod, the local mod uh, called uh, advanced weapon scopes. There we go. I was one up, I guess, uh, from library. So how do you do that? Well, 
First things first, after we've already uninstalled all of the mods that you, you previously subscribed to, you're going to click Find on Steam Workshop. On, and you're going to do these one at a time. I can't stress to you enough how important it is that you do this one at a time. So for this mod, which one was it? Uh, let me come back here and just do it one more time. Advanced Weapon Scopes. Find on Steam Workshop. You'll get this uh, web page. Uh, you might need to log in. It's no big deal. But the, the mod that you're looking for is always going to be the top left one. You know, the first one here in the row. Um, click on that. And when you go to, when you navigate to the page, you'll see the subscriber. Um, since you're not subscribed to it anymore, you won't see unsubscribe when you click on it. When you hover over this, it'll give you just click subscribe. What that's going to do is it's going to start downloading uh, the mod via Steam, right? So while it's doing that, what you want to do is come back over to that 221100 folder, and it's going to create the folder for that mod and it's going to give it some random number here which is incredibly frustrating once it finish once it finishes right once it finishes installing you're going to copy just copy don't cut don't do not cut just copy the folder control C whatever and then you're going to go uh, to this uh, Daisy workshop folder and you will see the folder with the for the mod it's like at you know, uh, what was it, Advanced Weapon Scopes? You're going to click on there, and you're going to paste that folder in here, okay? Um, if you have, um, what I would recommend is that you rename it to the exact name of the mod, right, uh, here, because sometimes, sometimes, the uh, when you go to, like, click load that uh, particular mod, sometimes it won't recognize the, the actual name of the, the mod and it will just tell you the, the the name of the folder which is like 2143 whatever right so it's like okay well how do I know what mod 21431289.74 goes to yeah there's no way of knowing so like for example uh, this one I renamed it to Northman Cut right so there we go that's that's pretty helpful Actually, maybe I should rename this to the Northman Cut. There. All right. Um, so that's why I say you do this one at a time, because if you try to download them all at once, so uh, do not click Set Up DLC and Mods and Join, because then it will just start downloading all of them all at once, and then you have all of these, and you don't know which folder they, you know, which mod this goes to, unless you go in here and break it down, and you're like, okay, well. I can deduce that this is advanced weapon scopes, right? But some of them have like a bunch of different mods in them. I'm trying to find one that is a good, like this one. Like, how are you going to know what what mod this you know pertains to, right? There's so many of them in here, but it's one for one mod. So that's why I say do it one at a time. You know, you download, uh, you click on the drop down, find on Steam Workshop, download, copy and paste into that folder. Once you've done that, once you've downloaded all of them and you've copied them, uh, made a copy in the uh, workshop folder here, next what we're going to do is we're going to cancel out of that and go back to the launcher. And you're going to go to mods and you're going to click local mod. And from here, you're going to drill back down to the folder um, uh, variable, data, Steam, Steam apps, common, Daisy, workshop. And then we're going to click on Advanced Weapon Scopes and click on that folder and click Open, right? And once you do that, it's going to load in here, okay? And uh, do that, you know, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until you get all the mods that you need. And then next, what you'll do is you'll go back to that server that you're trying to join, click Join, and you will click uh, drop down and add uh, that. Northman cuts giving me issues, but um, you'll drop down and click load, drop down, and click load. Um, or really, <clears throat> if it's only just one server you're trying to run, you can just load all of the green mods here because I, you know, I still have a couple other servers that I run into, so that's why, like, I don't recommend just coming through here and adding whichever ones you see green because you have to load exactly 
the mods that are uh, for, uh, oh, because I renamed it, I guess it did. it's not working. I have to go and add it again. Um, <clears throat> you have to uh, have the exact mods downloaded for um, the server you're trying to run. You can't add additional mods, it will kick you. So you could do it that way as well, or you can just, um, when you try to join the server, uh, click the uh, uh, click the drop downs and select the mods that you need. And here, let's the Northman cut. Here we go. Open. See, and now it's installed. You're going to get that. We'll click cancel. And uh, let's see if I can join it now. Oh no, it's not finding it. Maybe I need to restart. But here's a good example of what I was saying. We can come in here and add this right here. So now I have 15 installed, right, loaded. And now I can come in here and click join and just say keep current selected mods, which are the ones that are loaded, which are all 15 of these, and click and, and, and it will load in. But you can also just go this way and just click load uh, the you know the the mod for that particular um, uh, for that local mod for the one that you've downloaded through this little drop down here. So if we click keep current selection and join, which is what I just do every time once I have all the mods loaded, we'll click here and we should be able to load straight on in. Yep, see there we go, and we're rocking and rolling. Who knew?